welcome. Today's video is a shopping haul that I did last week together with my sister. So I'm excited. <laughs> Let's get started, shall we? So where did we go shopping? Well, as you may already know, I live in the Netherlands and we went shopping in Alkmaar. We went to the Primark and then we went into town and yeah, that was about it. It was really fun and uh, I got a lot of stuff. I got makeup, I got clothes. Uh, so what I will do is just begin with the makeup -y part of the video. Then afterwards I will show you the clothes that I got in case you're interested. So let's dive in. I got this one, the Berry palette from Primark. They have more, they have three. Uh, in total. The other one that I was kind of eyeing uh, was, I don't remember what they called it, but it's like the uh, Naked Heat palette, I think. I can't afford it, so I don't know. <laughs> the shades are on the back and this is what it looks like. I really like the colors. I have been playing with this one for the past week and the staying power is great. Uh, I don't have the shadow missing in my crease uh, like I did with uh, some other eyeshadows like for example the Essence the review that I did uh, last week and yeah they are really really nice I will insert the swatches that I did for you guys and as you can see uh, you can see the shades and you can see that I did them uh, differently so those were the swatches. The palette is really nice. You can make a light look with this. Wait, with this side you can make a light look. You can make a little bit darker here. And today I just did a very dark, more of a smoky look. The end of the makeup products. I will insert a, a, a quick video. It's just a speed through video of how I achieved the look of today. Mm. I am wearing a different lippy now as i was there that's because i before i started this i filmed the dutch part and i changed my lippy and i will tell you about it in a minute so this is the eyeshadow palette and i really really like it it was six euros for me and uh yeah you know it's i i, I like the cardboard packaging again no mirror so but yeah uh, it's okay i really like the palette and i have been playing with it and I will definitely keep playing with it. What else did I get? I got some false lashes. The ones I am wearing today. I got. And those are from Girls With Attitude. And they are the swept away. And it's this color packaging. Let me see. This color. They also had a, a purple one. But the lashes were a different shape. And I, I didn't get that one. Unfortunately, they only had one of these and I cannot find them on the website. So maybe they are gone now. I don't know. But I really like these. Uh, I have been wearing them for a week and they're still going strong. These lashes are not hair. If I feel them and uh, especially when I clean them, they feel plasticky to me. But... They are really, really pretty. And I will see if I can get any closer. I don't know if you can see it. They are really, really pretty. And they wear nicely. They are easy to clean. So, yeah. And again, for three euros and 50 cents that I paid for it. Wearing them all week. Definitely worth my money. I also got these from Primark's own brand. And this is the full look. I also have another one right here. Let me just find it for you. That I have cut to fit my eye already. So I can start wearing these. But I haven't done that yet. These are a little bit... I like the wispy and demi-wispy style. And these are, well, when I cut them, well, they're different it, it doesn't matter but I don't know how they wear I haven't worn them yet so I will have to let you know another day what else did I get let me think oh yeah I got the stay all day gel eyeliner and it's 
in a pot like this it's black and it comes with a thingy a brush <laughs> and you can click it there and it's really really well it's excellent stuff do i have still some yeah i just put some on my hand and when you put it on first time it's creamy and then it just dries down I love to use this one for tight lining and I cannot tight line underneath here because of the contacts that I wear uh, my eyes are pretty sensitive so then they all start wa watering and I'm, I'm not happy so I do it from the top and with this I can really get into my lashes between my lashes and that's how I tight line and my lashes just stay the same they get a little bit blacker on the base but that is about it so I really like it it is it doesn't come off easily and uh, it stays all day for me so yeah I'm really really happy with this one as you can see here it dries down it is black but it's not as black as a liquid one so but that's okay I don't mind it I really like this one what else did I get <clears throat> I got some lip stickies this is the super matte liquid lipstick in the color Courtney looks like this and that is the oh yeah I'm wearing this one now and uh, aren't I yeah I don't like this the color is nice it goes on nice but then when it dries down this is what it looks like but when it dries down I'm not happy my lips do huh? and when I smile you can see the lines where it, there just isn't any product so probably I have to sit like this to let it sit and dry down and I don't want that uh, it is really really dry on my lips um, it also says super matte so maybe I should have known and as you may already know uh, if you haven't I will link the video above in the little eye uh, in my essence review I told you guys that I was a lip stiffed and lip gloss girl and that's still true especially with these uh, super matte now it's it's not for me it dries my lips down so so much so uh, I'm wearing it now because I tested it in my Dutch uh, video I'm wearing it now and what I did was put over a lipstick the one that I also got from uh, Primark, I don't know if the color is called Luster or the line is called Luster, but this is what it looks like. It's just a bullet. It smells nice. And this is the color. And it's really, really nice color. And it works paired with this one. But I don't like the feeling of the uh, of this one on my lips, so I'm taking it off later. And this is the lipstick here. It's a really nice one. It's just a lipstick. So yeah, haven't worn it a ton yet. So I don't know how the staying power is. But again, it's a lipstick. So you have to reapply. It is what it is. Uh, I also got these. And I took them out of the packaging uh, to show you guys. But this is what it says. So it's the day to night line. They have two. I have mine in the... Does it say? Does it say uh, color? Any color? No. No. Well, anyway, they had two, and I picked uh, this one, and I picked this one because of these two. So that is the reason that I picked this one up. They are nice. They are very, very long wearing. I uh, wore one the other day. I think it was this pink one, this one. Uh, and. It is pretty comfortable yeah it is matte but it doesn't really dry out my lips it is pretty comfortable and i ate with it and it was still going so yeah it's just the color and this is the brown one and i will swatch it here it is a little bit more creamy when you put it on it reminds me of the consistency of a concealer actually so this is here and it looks nice but when I put it on, it's like I get a really 90s vibe, you know, the look with the dark uh, brown edge around your mouth. And then, no, it's, it's not my color. It's 
maybe in the winter time when I am uh, a lot paler than I am now, but I think I'm just going to give it away because I get a bit of a porn star vibe going when I wear this and that's not the look that I'm going for. So <laughs> the second one, that's the pink one again, really well, creamy. It's not really liquidy, but it's creamy. And there's this one. It's okay. The color is okay. It's just um, what you do have to remember if, at least for me, if I layer uh, something else on top, it doesn't work. In my uh, Dutch video, I wore this one topped with this one. This is also one that dries down and it just didn't go good together. You could uh, try it with a lip gloss. I Did I do that? Yeah, I think I did. I'm, I'm not sure. Just... If you have those and you tried it with a lip gloss, let me know down below so I can try it as well. Then we have the red one. And this, this is just a bright red. It looks a bit like the shirt that I got also from Primark. So here is the red. It's really, really pretty. Uh, I uh, haven't... I only used it to see how the color looked on me and it's very, very nice, but I haven't worn it yet. Now we have the last one that's the darkest and that is, if I look at it, it is like <laughs> dried blood. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. How do I know that? Because I like FX makeup. But anywho, this is the color and it looks, I think, a bit brown on camera, but it's really really dark yeah it's dark brown red i i really like it but i don't know if it's a color for me in the summer but maybe in the winter time but they are very very long lasting the four of these uh, cost me five euros so it's okay did i swatch this yeah this one i didn't like i really really don't like it then we have the metallic matte liquid lipstick in the color nude and i will swatch it it's pretty. I think this can also be a nice uh, eyeshadow, actually. Or maybe a topper for eyeshadow. I don't know if it will work as a lip topper. I tried it on um, one of these. It doesn't work. At least not for me. It flakes and, uh, and you get all pale, pale. But this is the metallic one. And again, I really, yeah, I like the color. It's nice. It has a, I don't know, a shift. <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice. And, and then did I do the lipstick? Yeah, I did the lipstick. Was that everything I got from Primark? No, I got two brushes. Uh, where's my other one? Oh, yeah. I got two brushes, the 220 and 230. This is what they look like. I like this one for it's nice and fluffy. It's what it's bigger. So yeah, I, I if if you watch the how I did this look, you will see this one. I use this one a lot actually. This one not so much. It has a flat top, and I am not really sure how to use it. So I haven't used it a lot actually. So if you know uh, if you have one of these and you know. No, you have any tips for me? Please leave it down in the comment section below so I can start using the brush. Uh, that is everything I got from. Yeah, that's everything that I got from uh, Primark makeup. We also went in the city, and oh yeah, I forgot something. I also got the first base lip primer, like so. And this is what just for underneath your uh, liquid lips. It's just prime uh, your lips. And yeah, it feels like a lip balm. And well, it's nice. I don't know if it does anything specific, but it's nice. We also went into town uh, to Douglas there. And I got some pro products that are not only one product that, ex that is exclusively to Douglas. So I will show it. Uh, you can get this in the Netherlands, in Belgium, and I think in Germany as well. Just check their site because I'm not sure. It's the Brow Definer Eyebrow Modeling Gel in the color Dark Brown. And it looks like this. 
and the wand looks like this and that is why I wanted this one as you can see I have tiny eyebrows yeah and the big ones it just it leaves it leaves a streak so I'm really happy with this one it also has some some particle flaky thingies in it and it keeps my brows in place so I don't have to go old school anymore and use one of these with hairspray and then just <laughs> it works but you get a sticky face so this works better so I like that one the color is good staying power is good keeps my brows in place I'm happy next thing I got was <clears throat> this one I'm not happy I hear a lot of people raving about this one so I thought you know what I want to try it but it will not stick to my skin I have tried using a minimum amount. I have tried using a lot and I used a lot. I have let it dry for one minute. I have let it dry for longer. And it just, it doesn't want to stick to my eye. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. The one time that I did get it to stick, usually my <laughs> lashes take maybe five minutes or something total. I was, it took my uh, half an hour, I was done with them, uh, but they were on and halfway throughout the day they came off in the middle. So yeah, I'm definitely not a fan. The way I can use this is to use this one on the lash band and then go over it with, you know, the ones that you get uh, with your lashes. This one is from Kiss and that one really works. I only use a tiny amount of this stuff where... I have to use triple the amount of this stuff on the same lash. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. Leave down below how you use this and yeah, which glue you prefer. Because for me, this is a definite no. What else did I got? I got the one everyone is talking about. <laughs> I got the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, the original one. I wanted to spray without alcohol and without perfume, and this is it. And yeah, I like it. Uh, it leaves a dewy finish on my face. So <clears throat> that's not great on camera, but it is great in real life. So yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, for you uh, Dutchies out there, if you don't want to spend the money, and I said, said this in my Dutch video as well, if you don't want to spend this money, this is 100 milliliters for, the price will be in the screen. I, I think it was 15 or 17 euros. This one is the fixing spray from Hema. This one is 5 euros. It's uh, 50 mils. Does not contain alcohol. Does not contain added fragrance. So this is a good alternative if you don't want to spend the money on, uh, on the MAC one. Yeah, now I will uh, insert the video of how I achieved this look. It is a speed through. I will. I have put some music underneath it. So it's just really quick to see how I got this look. And yeah, especially with the berry palette. So I will insert that for you now. And I hope you have fun watching it.
So that was the video. I will show you now the clothing that I got. So if you don't want to watch that, you can opt out. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go uh, a little bit back now because I have it here. And I also I'm going to stand up because the T-shirt that I'm wearing is also from there. And as you can see, it's long. And this is can I go under and under? Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. But this is what it looks like. And I'm standing a bit weird, but yeah, I like it with the cutouts and it's really comfortable. They also had it in black, but I got the gray one because I already have a lot of black. But maybe next time I go to Primark and they still have it, I will get the black one as well. This is just my cardigan. Uh, yeah, what else did I get from there? I got something yellow. It's the first yellow thing that I got ever, but I really liked it. On camera, I don't know how it transla translates on camera, but it is a corn, corn yellow. It has a stretchy um, top and I got this two sizes too big for me. Why? Because I want this to be flowy. I don't want it to be tight and it has a nice detail on the sleeve. So this is what it looks like, like so. And when I stand up, you see it's, it's a bit shorter, but I wanted it wide. I didn't want it, oh, stay on. If I got it in the regular size, it probably would have been like this. And I did not want that. I wanted it to be flowy and breezy. So yeah, I really, really like this one. Anywho, they also had it in another color. And then I got uh, a bright red t-shirt that will go splendidly with my red lipstick. It's just, uh, it's a simple t-shirt. And it's also a little bit longer. I like that. And I like the detail on the back. There's still a thingy there. Oh, God. But this is the detail on the back. So, yeah, I really like that. It's really comfortable. And I really like the color. Then I got some jeans. They're um, a bit stretchy. Uh, these are gray. So, I don't know if it translates. But th they are gray. And they are high-waisted. Like this. And I had to get used to it because normally my goes a little bit oh, where's my hip here's my hip bone a little bit above my hip bone that's where I like to have my jeans because that's comfortable but this one is actually really comfortable and I'm going to wear it later because I don't know how I did it but my pants are dirty just they were clean this morning but anywho and then I went to uh, maybe you have that in the states I don't know it's a sports a sporting goods store uh, decathlon we have one uh, in Alkmaar and we go there often actually. And I think they have them in the States as well, but I'm not sure. I got uh, two shirts as well. I want these kinds, the Razorback uh, t-shirts, because um, I like to wear bras that are a cross on the back or a razor on the back. That's just my preference. I really like how they wear and I have two big tattoos on my shoulder blades and yeah, I want them to show sometimes, so that's why I want these. Now, the color doesn't show up uh, as nice on camera or as bright on camera as it is in real life because it is just a neon pink. It is, yeah, it is neon. And I really like how it uh, makes my skin look. It makes me look tan, even though I'm not really. And uh, yeah, so I got one of these. Uh, they are sporting... Uh, sport, it's sportswear so it's really comfortable it's really nice fabric i like them and they were i don't know if i can find the price i will list it in the screen and uh, if i can find a link for you guys i will list it and link it as well in the description box and i also got this one and it's the same one just in a in a neon yellow it reminds me of the yellow markers from the old days it looks a bit greenish on camera, at least from my point of view, but it is it is yellow. So, yeah, it is a, oh, did you say where are my sunglasses uh, color? But it gives me a bit of a 80s, 90s uh, vibe. And uh, yeah, I really like those. So that was uh, my haul. That was the stuff that I got. I really had a lot of fun shopping with my sister and uh, I hope we will do it again soon. And yeah, I also really enjoyed filming this video. So, you know, guys, let me uh, 
let me know what you think of it of this uh, do you want me to do more uh, clothing hauls do you want me to show what i have in my closet uh, you know interact i like that just leave it down in the comment section below give the video a thumbs up if you liked it hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you will be notified when i upload and i uh, hope to see you in my next one oh you can also find me on instagram and on facebook and i will link that in the screen somewhere what my names are and uh, yeah guys i hope to see you soon bye bye